Hey guys, this is Larry with Packmasters Dog Training. Uh, have a new client showing up today with a three-year-old pit bull mix, male dog with a serious bite history. So um, you could hear he's been clicker trained at one of the big box stores. I'm going to show you how we transition to to getting this dog safe around people. Everything I do with him today is going to be hands off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reintroduce the clicker a little bit to get the dog to focus a little more because he's really, really a lot of anxiety. Then I'm going to transition to a marker word instead of the clicker because we're going to be conditioning to the e-collar today. And I don't really like the, the clicker with the e-collar for people because it's too much for them to do at once. So we're going to transition to a marker word and we're going to get started here. So just, just keep watching here. Bring them on down, Adam. All right, go ahead and bring him back. You gave him his chance to go. If he doesn't go right away, we'll just get started, okay? That's it, no more. No more, he had his chance. Who's gonna do the training here? I'll do it. Okay. Move over that way, Sophia. Okay, bring him over here. Bring him over there to the crate that's on the ground. Nope. Okay, put him up on the crate there. Nope. Come on. What'd you click for there? There you go. What, what was that click for? Okay, you clicked before though. What was that for? I don't know. Okay. Sorry. See, so we want to make the communication yes. very clear with them. I think okay, I you have the treat. Clicked. You have the you have treat, Tanya. You have the food. Okay. So what we're gonna do right here now is I want you to have the clicker ready in the one hand. I want you to have food ready. Okay. All right. We're gonna reintroduce the clicker a little bit. When I tell you when, we're gonna click and treat. All right. Put them back up there. No noises. Click, treat. Okay. And right there. Just wait. Click, treat. Good. Now we just want the attention. We want the eye contact. Treat. You guys got to follow. That You can't click for no reason, okay? Put them back up there. Got, and let's do this. Keep them up there, but I want your timing to be a little sharper with the clicker. So when you click, that treat needs to follow, okay? So relax. There you go. Good job, Sarah. Very nice. Okay. Relax now. Now when he gives you eye contact, I want you to wait. Now. Now we're making them extend it a little bit, okay? Don't do anything yet till I tell you to. Just relax. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to transition away from the clicker and we're going to start using a marker word. Okay? So instead of the clicker, we're going to use a word. We're going to use yes right now. Because you're going to get rid of that clicker so you don't have to carry your clicker around all the time. And once you start going into the e-collar work, it's a lot easier just to use a word. Okay? So now instead of the clicker, what I want you to do is get a piece of food, Sarah. We're not waiting for nothing here. I want you to say yes and then reward. Go ahead. Yes. Reward. Good. Yes. Good. Now we're just changing the marker, okay? Now. Yes. Good. 
It's okay, let him get it. You want to make sure he gets it, okay? So, let me see a piece of food. Do you have a piece out yeah. in here? So even the way you give it to him, I want done in a certain way. So look at me here. Put your put it in your hands like that. Put your thumb over the food. Yes. Okay. Put it in and let him push and take it gently. Okay? Go ahead. Give it to him. Yes. Okay. Yes and then reward. Here, take that. So again, I'll tell you when. Relax. go anywhere. Now. Yes. Good. Yes, and then reward. Now we're just teaching him. Instead of the click, it's the yes. And we're going to transition to that. So there's nothing wrong with the clicker, but once we start doing the e-collar work, I want to simplify it for you. Okay. This is going to be a lot good. Now. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes, then reward. Okay. okay. The timing has to be there. So we're marking the calmness, the eye contact. Yes. Good, Sarah, very good. But you got to make sure he gets it, okay? So you can't keep dropping the food. He's got to get it. So put it, your thumb over it and then let him take it gently. Reward that. Yes. yes. Not at the same time. Yes, and then reward. When he gives you that lay down where he's coming down, reward it, even if you don't ask for it, okay? Yes. Good, perfect, Sarah, very nice. That's what we want. Just wait. There's no rush here. Good. Very good. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. So now we stop right there and you can just relax with them. Okay. So you see what we're doing here? He knows the sound of the clicker, but we're perfecting that timing and starting to roar the calmness and the eye contact. But now we're just transitioning to the word. Get rid of the clicker and using the marker word. Yes. Okay, and the reason we're going to do that is we're going to start the e-collar conditioning today. Today. Right now. And you guys are going to do it. Yes. Okay. So the way that we're going to do that right now is I'm going to do everything hands off like I do with any dog with a bite history. So we're going to put we're going to put no pressure on the dog here, okay? So, so we're going to put him on a long line. Okay, don't reward him anymore, okay? Just stand there, ignore him, just relax, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him on a long leash, a 15 foot leash. I'm gonna teach you guys with the e-collar first. So first, you're gonna be holding the e-collar. You're gonna feel what he's feeling. And I'm gonna work you guys. I'm gonna teach you the timing and the mechanics of everything so you understand that completely, okay? okay? And then I'm gonna hold the e-collar. And you guys are gonna work me. And you're going to get to make all the mistakes um, on me right. so I could judge where you're at. But actually, what we're going to do even before that is we'll get going with the e-collar, and I'm going to control the remote so all the time is going to be done exactly right. You're going to handle the dog on a long line. You're going to call him to you. We're going to work on the recall, okay? The second the dog turns to come your way, so you're going to say, Jedi, come. He's going to be like, the second he turns to come, you're going to say yes and be ready with the food. Where when I'm going to be standing off to the side, I'm going to be working the remote control. Okay? And I'll walk you through it as we go. Okay? okay? So we'll get started here in that minute. Okay, Sophia. Okay, guys. Now it's about 15 minutes later after we transition to the marker word off the clicker. And what we're doing now is we're going to start conditioning Jedi to the e-collar. Like I do with all dogs with a bite history, any human aggression, I don't handle the dogs anymore. I don't put any pressure on the dogs. I'll walk the owners through exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be controlling the remote control, okay? So Adam, the owner, he's going to give the command, Jedi, come, and he's using the leash. The second Jedi turns to come his way, he's going to mark it, yes, reward, except I'm going to be using the e-collar, okay? Everything's going to come from me. I'm going to grab a room, uh, handheld radio so you can hear what I'm using. The, the This will allow you to hear when I'm using the e-collar, okay? okay? So we got the handheld, so hopefully it still works. You'll hear when I'm using it. Okay, I want you to walk over that way a little bit, Adam. I want you to just stand there. Just stand right there, 
Okay, come a little closer to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull him away from there. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm checking his level. So I'm starting at a number one. Okay, you hear that? Okay, I'm going to turn this off while I check his level because okay. I don't want him tuning into yeah. this. Okay. So just stand there, don't say or do nothing. Okay, you see that jump back? He felt something that's on a number 10. I'm gonna go lower, don't move. That's on a number six. And this doesn't hurt him? No, okay. you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel everything we're doing with him. You know it does hurt him? Losing him, down. putting him to sleep. Yeah. That's what hurts him. Okay, so he's on a number six on the mini educator, okay? Super, super low levels. Okay. So that's where we start. He's the, sensitive. The lowest level, most dogs feel it in single numbers, okay? Really? Yeah. So that's where we're going to start now at the lowest level. I'm going to turn this back on so you guys can hear when I'm using it, hopefully, all right? So when I tell you when, Adam, okay, I want you're going to say, Jedi, come. The second he turns you, yes, reward, all right? Okay, get yourself ready. Now. Jedi, come. Good, yes. No good. Yes. Just yes. Good job. Very good. Okay? Good job. Just yes. That's where, we're, that's your clicker now. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, now relax. Back up a little bit. Loosen the leash. Give him some leash. It's 15 feet for a reason. You got to relax. Okay? Now? Jedi come. Jedi come. Help him with the leash. Jedi come. Yes. Good. I want you to tell him one time, and if you got to repeat it, it's okay, but I want you to assist him with the leash, showing him what you want, okay? Where he's going to learn what this means is we combine the leash with the verbal command and the e-collar all together. That's how he's going to learn what this means, because he doesn't understand what this weird sensation means. So when you say Jedi come, just give him a little assistance with the leash toward you and mark the second he comes your way. Okay, go ahead now. Jedi come. Yes. Very good. So if you notice, I'm tapping right after you give the command. Okay, very nice. Now just back up away from his butt. Always just try to back up towards his butt so you get some space. So start walking towards me, Adam. Now just back up and call him. Jedi come. Yes. Very good. Good job, Adam. Very nice. You understand what I'm saying now? Now you're able to create a little distance easily. Okay. Don't give him any other, don't worry about anything else. Don't ask him to do anything. Start walking that way again. Back up. Call him. Can I come? Yes. Good. Now, do you see this here with the leash? You got to give yourself some leverage. Yeah. Okay, you're not going to be, your timing's going to be off. Loose leash, use the whole thing, but use it so there's leverage here. You'll get used to the long line. It's a pain in the butt at first. Okay, so just put your back towards me, Adam. Back up, call him. Did I come? Yes. Good. See, so there he wasn't very far, but we're still able to accomplish what we're doing. Okay, back up, turn around and back up now. Call him. Did I come? Yes. Good job. Good. All we're doing is teaching him what this, he doesn't know what this weird sensation means, okay? First. But he's learning very quickly that it's not a bad thing. When he feels it and he moves towards you, the reward comes. Okay. Very, very simple. So will he always have this on? We'll get to that okay. later, okay? <laughs> when you ask me, will he always have this on, that tells me right away that you see this as a negative thing. No. We're gonna well, we're gonna get yeah. into that. Maybe this, a little. Yes. Just now, what do you find negative about this? Well, this whole experience is new for me. I right. grew up with small dogs. For, okay, let's 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 stop right okay. there. Okay. We have a dog that we're gonna lose, right? He's going to be put down. We're gonna do what it takes to save his life. Plain and simple. Yes. Plain and simple. Through that process, I could almost guarantee you, we will never have to be heavy-handed with him. Almost guaranteed, because he's not going to give us a reason to. Okay, we're going to make this experience good right now, day one for him. 
day one, period. So when people associate e-collars with correcting and punishing the dog, that is completely opposite of what we're going to be doing right now. Now, if you notice what you have there already, he's, he's more calm yes. than he was before we started. This is going to help him focus, and it's going to help him work, and we're going to teach him today. He's going to be head and shoulders today, after one hour, and one and a half hours, then when you got here, I promise you. Okay? And you, I promise, are going to be comfortable before you leave. That's my goal for today, okay? All right. Hold the end of the leash, Adam. Okay? End of the leash. Just start walking. Just build distance. Okay? Back up. Follow him. Did I come? Yes. Ah, good job, Adam. Very nice. Now we take our time. I've seen dogs being abused. Okay. My dad did. Yeah. So that's yeah. why this You're... is just a little scary for me. Walk around, Adam. You'll never, you'll never get that here. You don't have yeah. to worry about that. Follow him. Can I come? Yes. Good job, Adam. Very nice. Now, Adam's arms are down. He's more relaxed. He's looser. And that's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Follow him. Can I come? Yes. Good job, Adam. Very nice. Okay. Now, very quickly, you hear me tapping the heat collar after the command. Now we're going to transition. We're going to do a little something different. This time. I'm going to hold the e-collar down first, and then I'm going to say, go ahead, Adam. That's when you give me the command, okay? It sounds like this. Go ahead, Adam. Come, Jedi. Yes. Got to mark it quicker, okay? He's responding to the sound, so I need you to use the leash and respond with them. Here, I'm, I'm using the e-collar before. We're going to do it two okay. ways, and I'm speeding it up now just to get a lot done with it. So we're walking this way, Adam. Fast learner. I'm not worried. He's going to do great. He's, al he's already looks better. I'm not worried about it. He's it's just a matter us. of yeah. teaching you guys how to make it easiest on both of yeah. you. Now, Adam? Did I come? Yes. Good job. Good job. If you got to get down, encourage him, use the leash, whatever, but get him to you. No robotics here. Let's make this fun for this dog, okay? Instead of him wanting to bite everyone around, let's make this, let's work. Let's have a good time, all right? Come this way. Back up. Back up. Did I come? Yes. Did I come? Did I come? See, you're not yes. ready with that leash. You gotta be prepared. Right. Okay, that's okay. Listen. You guys are gonna mess this up all week long. Everybody does. It's okay. okay. You're not gonna mess him up. We're going to mess up. Listen, guys, <laughs> I tell every single person I work with, you are going to make mistakes all week long with him. It's okay. Okay, you're not going to mess him up. He's still going to get better. And then next week, we're going to fix those mistakes, and it's going to get even better. Okay? Promise you guys. Just loose leash there, Adam. Just turn around. Back up now. Can I come? Yes. Good job. See, the reason I don't like using the handheld is because the dogs respond to the sound, and they never heard it, too. I don't like that. But I'm doing that for your purpose and for video purposes. So I'm going to turn it off now. Sorry, folks. Okay? Good deal, Adam. Very nice. Okay. One more time, then we're going to give him a little break. See, we're not going to work the crap out of him and okay. put a lot of pressure, okay? So, Adam, I want you to start walking that way at a fast... This is what you're going to do. You're going to start walking at a fast pace that way. But when I say now, you're going to just stop him back right up following him, okay? Because he's going to use his momentum. He's going to be with you. So turn around and just go. Now. Did I come? Yeah. Ah, good job, Adam. Very nice. Okay, so now we'll take a little break right there. Thank okay, you. so after about 10 minutes of e-collar conditioning now, that's Jedi now. Paying attention to the owner and relax. And now one time was he punish or correct with the e-collar. Now he's learning. So this is what I want you to do now, Adam. With no commands, I want you to turn and just start walking. Like he's not with you. Loose. Arms down, no robot arms. When I say now, I want you to just turn and come back this way. You don't look for him. You don't say anything, okay? Go ahead and go. Turn. Good job, Adam. Just keep walking. Very nice. Go that way. Good. Stop right there. Back up. Stop. 
Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Good job, Adam. So that's 10 minutes. 10 minutes with the e-collar. Did he ever look upset, no. hurt, uncomfortable even? Nothing. It's like magic. So that one, <laughs> that, that time right there, you didn't say nothing, you didn't do nothing, you walked like you didn't have a dog with you. That's what it's supposed to be like. That's what it's supposed to be like. That's how simple, this is a it's number six. Is this vibrate this on goes, his neck? No, that's a step, I'm gonna, you're gonna feel it. That's okay. a, that goes, this goes from zero to 100. Wow. So here, on the minute, that's a number six on a pit bull mix who's incredibly high strung, anxious, and has a fight issue. And that's, that's what you got. That's e-collar training. When combined with good leash work, good marker training, stopping the behavior things that we just did, that stuff's important. You put that together, and I swear to you, there are so few dogs that don't wind up like this very, very fast. e collar's gonna love you. Very, <laughs> very, very fast. It's important, guys, because I'm tired of seeing people lose their dogs. It's sad. You know, we three phone calls today. Three phone calls, people losing their dogs. The last woman who called right before you was hysterical on the phone. It's her daughter's dog. They're gonna put it down, period. Do they have to? There's or? no reason you don't have to do that. These dogs can be fixed. It's easy for me if I can educate you. If I could change you guys, if you just learn that right there, reward him. Give him a, tell him yes and yes. give him a handful of food. Not just one piece, give him a handful. Yeah. That's what we want. That's perfection right there. That is, that is beautiful. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Sophia.